Hi, this is Mark, and we're at a Museum Naturalis. Uh, today, we're gonna try something. I thought it could be interesting to people. Um, do you ever have photos, but they're all stuck together? Um, I figured a lot of people might have that after the hurricane. Uh, but we wanna figure out how do we get them apart without ruining them. So I looked it up and we're gonna give it a shot. So what we're gonna do is take our photos that are all stuck together and we're gonna put them in water. Now, that might sound kind of weird, right? Because photos are sort of like they're on paper, but when you develop photos, you actually put them in water to develop the photo paper. So it actually is waterproof or water, you can get them wet. Um, if you don't believe me, ask your parents or ask anyone who was a high school yearbook photographer in the 1990s or any time before that. So what I read is that you just put them in water and you let them soak in water for about an hour. So I'm gonna just give that a shot. We're in the hottest part of the day so this water is gonna be nice and mildly warm and we'll see if in a little bit we can get these photos unstuck without ruining them. All right, we'll check back in in a few. Laters. Here's our tray of photos in water as they're soaking. The water has gotten a little bit of color to it um, and a little bit of stuff has come off some of the photos. I've taken the opportunity to turn them over every once in a while to make sure that all of the photos get submerged at least some of the time. Okay, so, we got all our photos separated um, and we set them out in one layer to let them dry. And I would say overall this technique works pretty well. We had, I would guess, about 10 different kinds of photo, photo paper and um, photo developing and some really worked a lot better than others. Some were already so faded that there's almost nothing to see once they separated. And others had already have spots where the, the photo color had separated out from the paper. So none of them are perfect, but we do at least have a chance to look at all these photos. And um, most of them are fish that people caught. So I did try tearing a couple apart, you know, just for science. Um, what you can do is you can sort of bend it so they separate out. It doesn't actually work better. You end up losing a lot of the image on the back of the other image. So I think go with the water. Are you tired of having your photos all stuck together in a big clump? Are you tired of ruining your precious memories trying to tear them apart with your hands? Water, the photo unsticulator.